We're at Chateau Ibni uh, 2019 uh, in the paddock with Brown Truck uh, amongst the other cars in our class. In the background is the chateau itself and the grounds it's all laid out in um, all displays. There's a rally display behind the camera, there's um, Can-Am cars, there's a little tiny little 500s here. It's just a bit of a mixture of everything. All in class is all uh, trying to get the best time at the hill in their class, beat, beat, uh, beat, beat the rest of their class and then hopefully get the time of the day and, and be the winner of the day. We haven't got a hope uh, with our favourite truck um, uh, and it stands here really I think as uh, a bit of an interest in our class which includes a Hispano Suiza, a Bugatti, various GN specials which are fast and very nimble as well and we're fast but we're not nimble that's the one thing and at the moment we stand to be 10 seconds down on the leader in the class uh, which is a, a huge amount to try and make up so the leader of the class is 45 seconds up the hill we're 55 seconds up the hill and I'm running out of all sorts of options like skill ability and uh, and still got wobbly wheels as well after all the winter work improving stuff. Um, just as an idea, I'm just trying to think of the value of the Hispano Suiza. It must be a million and then the Bugatti must be... Is that another million? I don't know. Just huge amounts of money value in these cars and they let in brown truck which is worth whatever. I don't know, it lowers the average value of these lovely cars by by quite a lot, anyway. So what we've done over the winter on the truck is we've basically looked at both ends of the of the truck and we looked at how the axles are, are being attached to the the chassis and, and how we can improve them. The back was sorted pretty much for Bromyard. The front is new to, new this weekend. In fact, I finished the work Friday night, midnight, pushed it onto the trailer, and the first test drive was up the hill yesterday morning in first practice. And basically what we've done, we've, uh, we've made a bigger um, steering arm that links between the two hubs. Um, the other one would be not quite half the size, but two thirds the size. We're finding that it was deflecting, it's bending. Also attached to that, we've got under here as a mounting point, we've added a steering damper because we were getting um, wheel wobble um, under acceleration. And so we thought that um, putting a steering damper on would, would, would help that. Unfortunately, it hasn't. And the first run out yesterday, uh, we've still got pretty horrible steer wheel wobble. The other mod we've done is right down here, we've got a, a sliding pin that slides up a slot which is attached to the chassis, which provides our lateral location for the axle. So it's like, um, if you know what a panard rod is, that holds, that's sort of the basic thing that everyone knows about for race cars, that holds the axle from wandering across the car in a corner. This is really simple and cheap. The only thing is, I'm not sure what the material is that we've made this from. My mate Mad Mike had made it. Uh, wasn't sure, and we think it might wear quite quickly. In fact, there's, I can feel there's a groove in there already. And that's probably only after, uh, what would that be? Probably two and a half miles competitive. So we may have to look at that again. But what's come to light just now, we had two race car guys look at it and we've got a problem with the axle and this is traditionally bent axle so it's been dropped this was dropped what would it be probably 25 years ago and it's traditional to do this with this wasting here and that gave the right look but the we what i think i've done is i've improved everything so much and strengthened it up it's now exposing a weakness and if okay could look down on it I can show you, when I wobble the wheel like that, you can actually see the axle is moving five mil either way. So if it moves forward, you're taking off the 
Um, um, bum, 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 bum. Um, what are we taking off? That angle there is my caster. Sorry, taking off the caster. And as you pull it back, it's putting on more caster. It's also altering the kingpin inclination as well. So it's moving around. And that's going on. And as we're braking, it's, it's, it's moving that too and it's wobbling. So I think that probably is the source of the wobbly wheels. And the solution at the moment is either we're going to make another uh, small wishbone here to link it into the chassis so it, it, it supports it up and down. Or what the vintage car boys have got is they've got a stainless steel hawser that bolts from there to the chassis. Bracket adjustable, and that stops the axle one rolling forward under braking. So that's probably the simplest and easiest way of, um, well, hopefully curing the problem, but maybe taking it down a notch or two at, at worst. So that's the plan for next next week. It is fucking endless. This car never seems to be finished. This is the class we're in, which is, I can't remember what it is, class nine. This is 108, and it's a Hispano Suiza. It was a Delage chassis with a Hispano Suiza engine. He told me yesterday it's got 600 brake, and, but revs out at 2,000 RPM, which is amazing. And I, thought, I can't remember what speed he said. He's never gotten that fast. So he's with me, I run after him as 109. With, with brown trucks, the next one. We know all about that, but that's where it is in the class. It's 110 Bugatti. This guy is leading our class at the moment in the Norris Special, it's a Fraser Nash, with an AC engine, I believe. Really, really quick, really nicely sorted car. This is, the uh, next car is 112, is a GN. It's a tiny, tiny little chassis, really handle well, straight, very, very simple. Very, very light. So this would be, I guess, about 400 kilos. The next car in the class is this uh, V8 engine's GN. The uh, engine is a V8 Jap. And it's driven by um, Annie Schoolwell. She's the only lady in our class. Really nimble little car. Beautifully made. A lot of stuff. And then this is Thunderbug. So this is another, I guess it's a GN. Yes. It's a quick car as well. So that's our class. There was another couple, but they've wandered off. So we're all within that. That's our class. And the class is pre 19. 30, maybe 1930, sports racing cars. And the reason brown truck is allowed in is that the chassis are 29. So we fit in the class, very, very loose rules, obviously. Um, obviously the engine in brown truck's a lot newer and um, I'm forever apologizing for uh, being an interloper in their class and getting um, imposter syndrome, but they're all very nice um, and, and let me uh, muck about with the truck. 
going nowhere. I love this beetle. And it's really, really quick. You don't see beetles going so well. But it's a you know, very quick, is it a 54 <laughs> split over window? The nice thing about being in the pits is that you can look at a car and then something interesting comes just driving past you. So it's, there's, there's just so much going on all the time. It's not, you know, it's not, there's not a moment to get sort of bored, really. Just done the final run um, of four, and we managed to drop uh, second off, which is very heartening, and, uh, and I drove a bit like a twat, so that seems to work. Uh, and that's it, so a good, uh, really, really good weekend. Um, happy the car sort of uh, moved along. We seem to have dis discovered more problems than we've solved. The axle here is now the problem. The lovely old 1932 axle seems to be uh, behaving a bit like licorice and moving as you brake, moving like that, twisting. So we're getting sort of camber change, not camber changes, caster changes and possibly kingpin. Anyway, wobbly wheels is the result. But anyway, we've, it's really good. Didn't think we'd get here and get it all done uh, at midnight two days ago. Here we are. We got here, we've had a great time four runs. Chateau Imni is just ace. What a lovely, lovely event. Everyone's so friendly, everyone's happy, food's affordable, beer's, beer's a good price, the sun's been shining. Yeah, it's just, just fabulous. Hopefully they invite us back next year to be uh, the carnival, the, the comedy donkey in the class. Um, fingers crossed.